You're back with a brand new video. So before we get into this video, guys, as always, make sure to leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video and definitely subscribe to the channel for more. Every subscribe means a ton and it's very appreciated. Without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. All right, so a few months back, I released a warning video. For those of you who are using an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, if you guys haven't seen that yet, definitely check it out. Link will be down below in the description as well as in the card. Um, so this is going to be, in a sense, a follow-up video to that. Um, but completely different issue it is an issue just completely different than what we talked about in the last video again check it out if you haven't seen it so we're going to be talking about radiation exposure for those of you on an iphone 7 and 7 plus it doesn't matter if you have a 7 or a 7 plus same thing if you guys are using an iphone 6s 6s plus you are perfectly fine and older you are fine if you guys are using an iphone 8 8 plus you are fine if you're using a 10 it came over slight slightly over the legal limit but not nearly as much as the iphone 7 did and it's nothing you really should be worried about and iphone 11 is to be determined because it just released 10r 10s 10s max you are also fine so so the iphone 7 was found during some safety tests back in August of this year. So it took this long to find this out. So August 22nd, uh, statements started coming out and apparently that the iPhone 7 has exceeded the legal limit for radiation exposure. And this is really, really mind boggling that this just came out. And you know, the phone's been out since 2016. Um, I'm shocked. So, What's going on with this is the legal limit is 1.6 watts per kilogram. And the iPhone 7 came in at as low as 2.47 watts per kilogram to so as high as 7.15 watts per kilogram. That is way more than the legal limit. And that is that concerns me personally, and I know it will concern a lot of people. So what I'd recommend doing if you don't know what to do either trade in your phone your iphone 7 for an iphone 8 or any iphone you want because all the phones now are fine if you go for an iphone 8 perfectly fine you could trade it in you know good condition for 150 dollars 329 for a 64 gig 8 or you could just go out and buy a new phone doesn't matter if it's an iphone or another phone but on that note i do want to mention that tests ran on the samsung galaxy s8 came in over the legal limit as well, which is pretty insane. I haven't seen anything about the S9, but I have heard about the Note 10 has come over well over the legal limit as well. Don't know what that is about. I didn't do much research on it, um, but I just I did want to let you guys know that the iPhone 7 is over the legal limit and a substantial amount as well. So definitely, definitely, definitely look to an upgrade. Um, if you're if you're using an iPhone 6s, 6s Plus, or SE, or older, you are perfectly fine. If you're using an iPhone 8 or an iPhone 10 or newer, you are fine as well. The iPhone 10 has been um, shown to come over the legal limit only slightly, so you don't have to worry about it that much at all. It shouldn't be there shouldn't be any concern in that. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, if you don't know what to do, again, just I recommend just going out and buying a new phone if you can. If you can't and you're pretty much stuck with your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, what I'd recommend doing is make make sure you keep the phone at least, I would say at least 10 millimeters away from you your body at all times. Um, as back in 2011, um, Apple issued a statement saying to carry the iPhone at least 10 millimeters away from you. Um, this was for the iPhone 4 and 4S. Now, I know this is a completely different phone, and it's been eight years since then, um, but I do want, I'm recommending this because that the iPhone 4 and 4S had this issue, and they're saying carry at least 10 millimeters, and that seems about right. I haven't been able to find the exact numbers for the 4 and 4S, but I would like to assume that it's um, less than the iPhone 7, so I, that's why I emphasize at least 10 millimeters. Um, personally, I might even go for at least like 20 uh, millimeters away or just don't use it at all, but it's your, it's up to you. Uh, I'm just worried about, you know, all of you guys make sure to stay safe. It's really, really just, it, I'm stunned that this just came out. Um, but again, just either, you know, keep it away for a substantial away, you know, amount away from your body and definitely, definitely, definitely look into some type of upgrade. Um, other than that, there's not much to talk about. You know, the numbers are just 
really um, high, you know, as low as 2.47 watts per kilogram versus the 1.6 limit. And then as high as 7.15, that's just another level entirely. So I don't know, you know, you could just get a new phone. You could even go back to an iPhone 6S or SE or even 6 because those phones and older weren't affected. Um, if you guys are using, again, if you're already on a newer phone, then you're perfectly fine where you are. Um, so yeah, if there's any further information you guys want to know, just comment down below. I look at all the comments. So if you guys have any questions, anything you need me to confirm, just comment down below. I'll see it and I will try to help you out, you know. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like down below. And of course, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. Um, so tomorrow, it looks like we'll be having our iPhone SE on iOS 13.0 full review. And on Wednesday, it'll be our iPhone 7. So stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.